mesmerized by this floor. And this coolant is just like, it's just surprising to see how much coolant is coming out of this thing. I just thought I'd show you guys this real quick. But today I used this picture right here as like a calibration, like a measurement for this air hose that came with the uh, Silex 7. And then I took a picture straight on right here. And what I did is I dragged this into Fusion 360 so that I could, and I calibrated it, I scaled it. And then I just drew a quick image. I drew the square to create a little extrusion. And then I just used a really simple spline to make uh, another little boss. And then inside the middle of the boss, I created um, another a little cut. And I just added some fillets. This is super basic. It turned out pretty nice though. I ended up adding some fillets. I chamfered the edge and then I 3D printed everything. You can see I rotated around. When you hide the canvas, it actually becomes solid so you can get a little bit better view. You can see all the fillets and the chamfers and stuff there. And this was just something so that I had the air hose just a little bit closer to my hand, you know, when opening and closing the door or whatever. And uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good. It took about an hour and a half to print. We printed a couple of different versions. I just used PETG. We printed one on the Ender. We printed one on the Prusa. And then this is it. This is the one from the Prusa. Just a super, just a really nice clean print. And then we ran over to Home Depot and got some of that super durable. It's like 30 pound oh, per wow. square inch double-sided tape. And I always use two layers. I just feel like it makes a better bond. And we stuck it on there. And then uh, you just, you want to make sure that you press the stuff on really good because you really want a solid contact patch. And then I just went over here and stuck it on the machine. And uh, the air hose fit yeah, good. It's that. like, it's pretty, pretty solid little setup. Just real quick. I'll upload, uh, if anybody wants one of these, it'll work on any machine with almost any air hose. So I'll upload this to Thingiverse. So if you guys want this model, just go uh, go check check the description of the video oh, and I'll works. put the link to Thingiverse. So that's it. Just let you guys get a kick out of this. Just super quick video. And uh, if it's good, rock and roll. See you guys next time.